Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. Today's tip is going to be on how to use defaults in the Razor's Edge. Now, what do I mean by defaults? Now, when you go and you say uh, you want to add a new individual in your system, typically you might find that as you're adding them, you're putting in a lot of fields that are the same. Maybe in your area, you're always using the same city. Maybe you're using the same state. Maybe your zip code even has the same first three numbers for your entire area. Another thing you might find you're constantly doing is having to go to the Bio2 tab and put in whatever constituency code they were. Then you'd go to the Salutations tab, and you're always picking the same salutations, whether it's like Title I, first name, last name, etc. Well, what I'm going to do is show you a quick way that you can make these a default set so you don't have to put these in every time you add a new record. The way this is done is we go up to the Tools drop-down menu up on the top. You'll see this one called Organize and Create Defaults. Click it. And what happens, it'll bring up a list of default sets. Now, you can make a default set for anything here. You can make one for an organization, an individual, an action, a gift. And for this case, in this example, I'm just going to show you an individuals. Now, I've created one in here just for time-saving steps to say my new record defaults. And what will happen when you create a default set is you can identify things that you want to load onto a record as a default set. So in my example, what I'm going to do is come over to where it says address and phones. And the default set I'm going to make is, let's say every time I add a new record, it's always the United States. And the city is going to be Honolulu. The city is going to be Hawaii. Now, most zip codes in Hawaii or in Honolulu begin with 968. So I can actually just put that as a time-saving step. Now the other thing I might do is always add individual as their constituency code on bio2 and for the address salutations what you always do is put in their title, first name, middle initial, last name and a suffix with a salutation being first or title and last name. So now that I have a default set made, let me show you how easy this is to use when you go create a new individual. So I can come over here, click new individual, and I'm going to put in just some basic information. So I'll use uh, Jones, John, and we'll say Mr. And then as I uh, get, come over to this area, what I can do is I'll put in some information like 123 Main Street. Now, I'm not going to deal with the other areas like the city, the state, the zip, because what I'm going to do is now take a cheating move and come up here to go constituent, load defaults from, and then I'm going to pick the default set I just did Make sure down below you see this option that says load default values now and just say OK. Now watch what happens. It's populated the city for me. It's populated the state. Now all I would have to do is add the last two of that digit. Look what else it's done. I can come over to bio2. Here's my constituency code. And if I go to the salutations, it's already populated it for me. Now this is a down and dirty easy way to show you how to use a basic default set. I hope that was something that helped you. And thanks for viewing RazorsEdgeForRookies.com.